Virtue signaling is a set of words or behaviors we use to be accepted or approved of within a given subculture. This is especially true if we don't hold those values or maybe hold no particular values ourselves, but throw values around as if they are currency. So that there is a, a place where you know that a certain political viewpoint is strongly encouraged. And so when you're in that place, you remember to use the buzzwords and the name dropping that is necessary to be perceived <coughs> as uh, a card carrying member of that subculture. You go to another one and you do something else um, because you're afraid that that dominant culture will expel you or you'll lose privileges related to its participation. What does this have to do with the intact church? As we imagine with our God-given minds what the end times church will be experiencing, we talk about ways that infrastructure will be damaged, ways that nations will be damaged, the rule of law will be damaged. We can very much perceive in an oppressed, persecuted Christian future, a situation that is similar to China, wherein it is illegal to belong to a church that is not controlled and overseen by the government. Now you see the control and oversight means that they can decide whether or not the church teaches things that are contrary to the government's communist stance, which obviously would make you a sell out to what the government wants and not truly loyal to the word of God. And so if you have loyal believers in places like that, they are underground. They are isolated. They are very carefully connected to others. But the thing that you and I rely upon, which is when we think of church, now the church is a living organism that spans multiple centuries, past, present, future, and eternity. We think of a building that's always there, and a bunch of people that are always there, and your participation is a bunch of cultural things that you do. Now, what I'm getting at is the most important relationship right now and forever, but will have a different timbre of importance, is that when these things are taken away, where is your relationship with Jesus? Where does it exist? Um, some of you, your relationship with Jesus, or the thing that I perceive it to be, is a set of Christian virtue signaling is you may or may not have a close relationship with Jesus. You may or may not be saved, but you know that if you show up at the right time, specifically the really good time is right on time or slightly late because nobody can examine you or get to know you personally. So if it starts at 11, it's 11.01, 11.03, 11.04. Oh, they're there. But, you know, luckily nobody got to <clears throat> talk to you personally to find out how spiritually dead you may or may not be. And so the virtue signaling continues. It's the handshakes. It's the singing when everyone else sings. Um, it's the listening quietly, if you're me, when people are singing or talking. In some other cultures, it's the yelling and screaming and interjecting when people are singing or talking. Different cultures. Um, but if the coming persecution of the church takes all those things from you and you can no longer virtue signal your Christianity by attendance and participation and backslapping and handshaking showing up late and leaving early is there a living lifeline between you and God that will sustain you through the last days sustain you through days, uh, days, weeks, years, where you can't go and do that. To whatever extent that feeds you, that experience of going to a building and doing a bunch of church things may or may not exist in the days that come in the future. Certainly, as we have endured uh, the era of COVID in 2020, 
there's been an intent to take that from us. And I would say two-thirds of my church, the church that I participate in, it's not mine, um, are home watching church on Zoom where they say they are. But a church that was climbing towards 125, 150 is back somewhere between 25 and 50, which is fine. But if it was the enemy's goal to use this microbe to keep you out of church, in some cases he won. So let's consider this a dry run, a rehearsal, a battle, but not the entire war, because there will be harder more aggressive attempts to keep God's people from meeting together and isolating really whether or not you have a living relationship with God and whether or not you can be kept from meeting with his people. Whether or not the level of legality and legal force um, which will support that will create vacant, abandoned churches where even if you went there's no lights, the, the, uh, the uh, ceiling's falling out, and uh, the closest thing to a preacher there is is a rat. I just mean it's a bit overrun by animals. Um, so the first relationship to be concerned about when we consider the end times church is your relationship with Jesus and whether or not you are virtue signaling your way through your life in God. If I have blessed you or encouraged you, please like and subscribe.